This man is your typical Argentine pensioner. And like all Argentine pensioners, he doesn't use ATMs or electronic payment means. He doesn't trust technology and goes around paying in cash. So every time he wants to get his payment, he spends a lot of time in very long queues. Impresionante la cantidad de abuelos. Una locura que estén haciendo filas interminables. Podría ser de otra manera, pero nuestra sociedad. ¿Desde qué hora estás? De las 2 de la mañana. Usted me imagino que está viendo como todos estas filas. No sé, maneja la máquina. Millions of pensioners had to choose between stay home without money or face the risk of contagion and expose themselves to collect their pensions. Amid chaos and the collapse of safety measures, Banco Itaú decided to challenge the system and take the obvious action. And in the same way the press had been talking of the enormous problem, they immediately started talking about its resolution. In this case, Banco Itaú will start to do delivery of jubilation. But what seemed the most sensible and simple idea was far from being so. No banking institution could use the existing delivery applications because they had to comply with specific security regulations pre-approved by the Argentine Central Bank. Yes, bureaucracy survives, even in a world pandemics. And in the light of this, all paperwork, lawyers and legal approvals were overcome in record time. And a unique delivery system of microflow transportation was created with a new protocol of secure ID verification and an all-new concept of bank transactions. Yo tenía mucho miedo de salir, así que es un alivio de verdad. A process that would have taken almost a year was up and running in less than three weeks, dramatically changing the whole pension payment and cashing system. Of course, the protocol and procedure were shared to other banks, because to make real change, it's of no use to be the first one if you will end up being the only one.